bro. God damn. I'm gonna try the best to link this up. As best as I possibly can. How's it going guys? It's Austin. Welcome back to another video. Oh dear god damn. So I'm an I'm a little bit of not a smart person. Let me explain here for just a quick second. How I have everything set up. I have two monitors, right? And you know, every monitor needs an HDMI cord, right? Okay. So my main monitor that I play video games on and everything, and that all the primary focus is on is a 144 hertz monitor, right? I've always got kind of curious, but with an HDMI cord that was hooked up on it, I'd go into the device um, display settings and the advanced display settings and stuff like that and try to increase that number from 60 to 144, right? And it would never let me. It would say the cap is at 60 hertz. Well, come to find out, actually, I actually have a light that hangs up right here. It's like a little bar light. It has like four sections and a little 90 degree angle thing. It goes like this and like that, right? And I'm sitting there watching Everybody Loves Raymond on in the living room on the couch. Wanted to relax, okay? I've been on this shit all day. It is currently 12 a.m., okay? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to hop off. I'm going to relax for a little bit. So I'm sitting there watching TV, scrolling on TikTok too. I'm multitasking, by the way. And I hear just a boom, boom, pow, pow, like big ass noise. And I go, oh, please don't tell me. Come to actually find out, as soon as I walked in, the light fell, camera fell down onto the desk. The This monitor right here was on the ground face down thankful it didn't break it was a cheap monitor like maybe 80 bucks 90 bucks something like that it's a samsung curved monitor but it's on the ground it got disconnected from its hdmi cable so i was like okay let me go and plug this back in but it actually broke inside the actual insert on the back of the monitor so i had to take that out make sure everything was good i had an extra one laying around but it wasn't a normal HDMI it was just a it's a it was a, a digital display port cord now my graphics card has four slots of those right so that's not a problem but my monitor that fell only has the one HDMI slot right so I was like okay well I think the one that's using my main monitor has just a normal HDMI cord so hopefully I can go ahead and switch that over to this one and then I can use the display port onto the new one onto my main one room and so I got everything hooked up, got everything set up and everything. When I plugged it in, I was still like in the Call of Duty lobby. I didn't like back out anything. I didn't have my computer turned off or anything. I just stepped away for just yeah, like 20 minutes or so just to take a break, a breather. And when I plugged everything back in, I noticed that the collars and just everything about how the monitor looked, looked a thousand times better. I don't know, like on this video, for instance, I don't know if you'll be able to tell or really notice any difference. I don't think so. But I, I went in and it, it just looks so much better. I went into the display settings and, and, and stuff because I was like, well, since it changed kind of like how it looks and it looks better, maybe it'll let me see if it go lets me go past 60 hertz. And by golly, it does. I'm at 144 hertz right now. And dude, this shit feels so good. Visually, I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you'll be able to even tell any difference when it comes to Hertz running on 60 Hertz to 144. I don't know if you'll be able to notice that on a video. But isn't that kind of crazy to think about? All the all this time, I've been playing at 60 Hertz when I very well could have been at 144 Hertz. I should have just trusted my gut and was like, no. This monitor is capable of so much more than just 60 hertz but no i caped and i was like you know what maybe i'm wrong but let me show you everything that i have at least accomplished since the last video right because you saw me working on smgs something different 
So, when I got on today, they had double XP, double weapon XP, and double battle pass XP. This morning when I woke up, I didn't worry about the levels. I am just, I didn't worry about the challenges, like the camo challenges and stuff. I will come back to those. As of right now, as of right now, I have the SVA gold, MTZ gold, Holger gold, MCW gold, the DG58 and the FAMAS are not gold. They need the gold challenge, the gold challenge, but they're leveled up. I went ahead and maxed those out because of the double weapon XP. Went over to the battle rifles. I got that one maxed out. These two, I, j I just gotta win games and they'll unlock. Level it up. Swarm. I hate this thing. Remove it from the game. It kicks like a donkey. That's what it does. And then I'm gonna level up this one. I am just focusing on leveling up each and every gun. So that way when double weapon XP ends, because you know it will, then I can go back and do all the challenges and off... I feel so much better. That's why I'm kind of ruining my sleep schedule right now. And I'm staying up at 1230 in the morning. I'm hoping and thinking that they will keep the double weapon XP until Sunday night or Monday. Then they'll probably take it away. So I'm hoping I can get through all the guns. That's the goal. Is it doable? Yes. With work on top of that? I don't know. I'll come back to that but so yeah i'm just here grinding i've been living in rust hardcore i don't know if that's i mean i did the same thing with hardcore shipment i did the same thing if you want to go a step further they also had a game mode shipment 10 v 10 and i did that in hardcore so this is nothing occasionally you gotta deal with people that's camping at the very top of the tower like like it's prime real estate but other than that, it's not bad. I'm zooming across the map on 144 hertz. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm turning my brain off, going forward, and just holding down the the trigger button. Teammate, I don't even think I was in your line of sight. Guys, if you didn't know, apparently, according to one of my co-workers' daughters, she's like seven, I think six i could be wrong i think she's seven or, or six one or the others i don't know a girl her age i got yelled at at work so stories time on that one maybe coming soon i'm not too sure if this video does well then i'll think about it but apparently the sales manager found just found out that you know i do youtube as a hobby and i guess she didn't know that could have sworn everyone in the store did well mean meanwhile while she actually found like one of my videos or a couple of them or whatever she was watching one at home and sometimes she bring she brings her daughter to work sometimes like if the babysitter needs to come pick her up or if the babysitter calls in like sick or something like that and she has no one else to watch the kid so she'll bring him bring her to work so I've seen her a couple times and, you know, vice versa. She's seen me a couple times, even though I'm at delivery. She'll sometimes see me in the um, early morning. Uh, most nights we get off late and by the time we get off, everyone else is home, cozed up in their bed and drinking hot cocoa. But meanwhile, pulling up my channel and watching a couple of videos, she, the six or seven year old, catches a glimpse, right? And she said, hey, that's the guy you work with. I didn't know he was famous on YouTube. First of all, you can be on YouTube and not be famous, which is me. Next time I see her, I'm going to tell her I really appreciate the compliment. But in actuality, if you take my status on YouTube, okay, and you compare it to, let's say, like a Ritz cracker. Let's say you have a Ritz cracker and you ha have it in your hand and you just drop it on the table, right? When you drop it, what happens to that Ritz cracker? It stays intact. But you'll get one of those itty bitty little crumbs onto the table, right? Well, what do you do with one of those crumbs? You brush it off and it lands on the floor, then you suck it up with the vacuum cleaner. I'm the crumb, okay? I'm garbage. So I, I, I do genuinely 
appreciate the compliment so thank you i told her i was gonna put this in a video because i thought it was hilarious so hopefully she gets a good little laugh out of it if she's anything like my little cousin or like my little brother they got really happy whenever i talked about them on youtube for some weird reason. You ever go in town and buy a Christmas tree just to get home, put it all up and everything, and you plug it in and it the shit don't work? I still have it up. I didn't, I, I couldn't bear take it down and put it back in the box. N not quite yet. I still have faith and hope that I will figure this out. But yeah, other than just sitting here on autopilot, basically, since I'm not really worried about any of the challenges, just point pull the trigger and it's just a lot of repetition 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 yeah it's not much i'm almost done with this one and then move on to the next this is honestly so exciting i can i can hardly bear it honestly interstellar i'm coming for you